Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We need to talk about the content that came out today in FIFA and also just kind of talk about what is next for FIFA Ultimate Team. What is next for promos? What is next for Weekend League player picks? What is next for Team of the Week? Because we've had some information about EA on this, basically saying that they're going to be providing more info. But I just want to talk through some of the possible scenarios that I can see um going forward and how that could affect the market and just how ea is going to be um going forward with this game in the next few weeks because of everything that's shut down via the coronavirus and stuff like that of course sports are shut down basically around the world and yeah that really hurts a lot of fifa stuff you, you don't realize how much sports impacts uh, of course, this is a sports video game, but you don't realize how much that it impacts that uh, when it's gone and when you don't have it. It's pretty crazy, right? Um, or just how it impacts you as a sports fan, as a football fan. It's just crazy. But anyways, I want to talk about some of that stuff today as well, especially with some FIFA 19 stuff that's going on too. So I want to cover this today though. First of all, Player Moments Hector Bellerin came out today. We did have some market movements because of this. By the way, are we still in a promo? I think the loading screen still says foot player days. I don't feel like we're in a promo at all. There is nothing that is in packs, which is definitely if we're inside of a promo, that's not a usual EA thing to do. I don't know if this is because of, you know, all the events that are going on, if they're not doing anything for this, but we are in foot player days right now and we literally have nothing in packs. They have upgrade packs that are in the store, but what are you going to do with, what are you going to, pack from an upgrade pack when there's no special cards and packs i don't understand why we have these in the store right now at all to be honest the 84 to 91 upgrade and the 83 plus which they i think they released two days ago i don't know why they even released that just you know we have these player spcs dope okay this spc sure um but there's literally nothing in packs right now which is very very interesting uh but we did get this spc today and this is like the this, this is a solid card i'm gonna come this is the way that I'm thinking of it right now, right? So you have Sergio Ramos in the players tab here. You have this Ramos SBC, which is also a Spanish right back. This costs you somewhere around the line of like 500,050 coins, somewhere around 500K ish range, right? Very, very, you know, higher price card, 550K. Very, very good. Now we go back to this card and we have another Spanish right back, Hector Bellerin. They're, of course, in different leagues but they're both Spanish right backs. This card costs you about 140,000 coins at the moment. This is the type of SBC that a lot of the casuals are going to do. And you saw that today on FIFA. How do you see that? Well, of course you would see the SBC requirements for this um, squad building challenge. You would see those rise. So Premier League players that are 85 and above are definitely inflated right now. And that is, that is something that I, I've been taking some coins on today. I've been lazy relisting these cards. Uh, this Kane sold at 45K. I bought all these 89s at 35,000 coins. I bought like Aguero sold today at 44,750. All these Sterling sold at 37,000 coins. I bought all of these at 27,000 coins. So if you have Premier League gold and you've been doing a, you did a club stock and you have some Premier League high rated that are, you know, in your, in your club stock or in your transfer list, I wouldn't be super afraid of getting some of those out right now because they're super high. I still think some of the other high rated stuff has yet, it's gonna keep going up because we're getting more SBCs right now and less pack supply, if that makes sense. So keep holding on to the rest of your high rateds. But if you have Premier League high rateds, people are doing this Hector Bellerin. So uh, you can list those and I think now is a decent time to take the, take the coins on some of those because they are inflated. And again, people are doing this card because the face value looks great, right? High, high work rates, 97 pace. He's got 80 and all the other stats that are necessary for a fullback or an outside back. Uh, and he's got good stamina, decent aggression. He's got pretty solid defensive stats. And of course, the pace is what everybody sees with this card. Um, he lacks in the strength, which is an obvious fault right away. But I think 87 aggression and pretty high uh, tackling stats might actually make up for some of that lack of strength. He might feel kind of slippery, especially if you're gonna, you're gonna boost that agility and balance. And he's got high, high work rates. So you can definitely tell, this is an SBC that a lot of casuals wanna do, or if you're an Arsenal fan, I don't blame you if you wanna do this SBC. Do I think it's the best one ever? Not really, um, but I do think it's an okay SBC. And of course it's Premier League. Uh, we have a ton of right backs in the Prem this year. I mean, we have like, 
how many different versions of Ricardo Pereira that were right backs. We do have one that is a left back. We've got Kyle Walker in form. We've got Trent. Um, we've got Juan Basaka with a couple in forms. And you can tell that today, a lot of these cards have taken a hit in price. Kyle Walker's in form. I'm going to take a look at this right now. This is like the in form that the casual FIFA players would use, right? Again, this, this SBC today really just screams casual to me. Like a lot of the casual base are, is able to complete this SBC. Kyle Walker, 200,000 coins today before the release of Hector Bellerin. The man is down to 50,000 coins, and I think he's still dropping a little bit. I wouldn't be surprised if this guy does dip down below kind of like the 130K range. Looks like he's already at 124 on Xbox. Maybe on Xbox he goes to like, you know, 110, 115. I would not be surprised if this card does keep dropping. Now, is this investable? Can we invest in this dip on these cards? The only one, uh, earlier today on stream, I said that I would not be super interested in investing in these. The only reason why I said that is there's so many other right backs in the Prem. Um, uh, and, you know, that just doesn't help a card rise a lot when there's a lot of other substitute um, goods that you can you can choose to buy and put in your team instead of one card or in that same position. There's a lot of other ones, so that's less people that could have the chance to go buy your card. Um, but this SBC is only out for three more days. So, and by the way, what we're celebrating a player moments Hector Bellerin for celebrating or for his goal line clearance versus Swansea in the 2015-2016 season. I just think that it's funny they can put out one of these player moments SBCs and they can literally make it for whatever they want. They could put out a player moments SBC for the time that uh, Paul Pogba dribbled past a defender that was really awesome, right? Like, it could, it could do whatever they want for one of these. Anyway, uh, if you're going to invest in any of the crash in the right backs, I'm going to give you two things to think about. First of all, this Kyle Walker is the probably the most... Look at this, 140k. One of the most used right backs in this game in terms of games played. If you go and look at right backs in FIFA, he is one of the most used cards in this game. So if I were to invest in one right back because of this drop, I think it would be Kyle Walker. I'm going to just wait to see how low he goes, though, because people are like selling this card off from Weekend League. Like he's 140K right here. And the, the initial panic selling, he was at 150,000 coins earlier today. So he's still going lower. Watch this card go lower. If you see 135 on PlayStation, that's a pull for me because then that is cheaper than the SBC price uh, at the time. But I do think since he's English, since he's Manchester City, there's a decent opportunity that he could rise out of packs. And then somebody else in my stream today mentioned Florenzi, which I thought was a good point because if, if there's panic selling from other leagues going on right now, uh, you can honestly get uh, maybe interested in picking up on some of the panic sell on right backs in the leagues that are not the prem right this florenzi card's 103,000 coins i think he was like 120 or 130 before today and he's just a right back that is down because he is in la liga so maybe some people are using a spanish connection instead of just a plain la liga right back um and if you wanted to buy a couple cards uh that were other right backs that were down today i don't i don't mind this one because florenzi of course has different links uh right now or in, in FIFA with, with his links, with his nationality, and with his league. So there was a little bit of panic selling on the right backs today because of Hector Bellerin. I wouldn't go super all in on that, but that's enough talk about that. Bellerin, I just wanted to give you guys something to, you know, kind of like a teaching point with panic selling and why I just don't feel like this market is really hyped up right now. Of course, as you get later on in the year, when you see substitute goods like that come onto the game, the, the buyback on the panic for the other goods isn't as strong later on in the year because there's less people playing, there's more special cards out there and stuff like that. But the other thing that I really want to talk about today is just kind of the future and like what, what is going to happen in this next week or two of FIFA Ultimate Team. Right now we are in the middle of Icon Swap Set 3 and you can tell that that is what people are just grinding on this game this week. People are grinding the Icon Swaps. Weekend League gameplay is very laggy. Servers are bad. Uh, you can just tell that people are on this game right now, casuals and hardcores alike. Now, part of that, I think, is due to a lot of stuff being canceled in real life with the virus fears and stuff, a lot of like staying at home, lockdown situations. I think there's just more people that are on video games and on FIFA. So that's part of it. Um, but also, this is brand new. It comes out and people grind icon swaps like the casuals grind icon swaps even us hardcores grind the icons because we want to get these packs or we want to you know get the tokens to do whatever with them even though we're not a huge fan of these 
uh, of this concept this year. Some of us would rather have the SPCs back. People still grind these and they grind them hard. So don't don't just think that since people aren't as happy with these this year, they're not doing them. They're still doing them because it's kind of the way to get an icon in your team. You're kind of forced to do it in a sense, but people are definitely doing it. So that's going to be like the mantra for this week. I think people are going to continue to grind these prime icon swaps and I'll continue talking about that throughout the week. Um, but that's kind of, I think, causing some server issues, especially with gameplay. It's just causing a lot of overload uh, on the game right now as well. So I want to take a look at Twitter really fast and show you guys. I don't know if you saw this message today, but this is the portion related to FIFA 19 that I want to speak on here for a minute. This is a message from the FIFA team. I did not see this this morning, but evidently some people did. This is inside of FIFA 19. They said, hi, FIFA fans. We are reopening the Foot Champions Weekend League one time only on March 20th. The event will run in its usual format, and this will be the final chance to get any outstanding Weekend League related achievements. So this is on FIFA 19. They're going to be running the Weekend League on FIFA 19 this next weekend. Now, why are they going to do that? I honestly don't know why. I don't know if it's to try to get people on FIFA 19 to, to come back and you know, go over to FIFA 20. If they know that there's going to be more people probably on the game because of due to shutdown and stuff like that. Uh, are they trying to get people to, you know, get onto their new game from FIFA 19? Or I don't know what the deal with this is. Are they testing the servers? Somebody mentioned that. I don't know what that is about either. But they are opening the FIFA 19 weekend league. And since there are people that have time, again, because of the shutdowns and stuff with the coronavirus, I think this is going to be popular. Go, go back and look at Twitter Day. Search FIFA 19 on Twitter. And you will see that tons of people were posting, you know, like throwbacks of their squads last year at the end of the year. Oh my goodness, my team was so insane. I'm going to have to go try this weekend out just to play with this team one more time. I think there's a lot of people that are going to be playing FIFA 19 Weekend League this weekend because it's a little bit hyped up. We'll see how that hype kind of continues on throughout the rest of the week. But that could have some market movements uh, like Thursday flipping with rewards this week. You might not see the market go up as much because I doubt people would try to play FIFA 20 Weekend League and FIFA 19 Weekend League. So we'll talk about that later on in the week. But that is something that I wanted to mention with you guys today regarding the FIFA 19 stuff. I'm sure you saw that. I don't know if any of you guys are planning on playing it, but that is something to kind of just keep watch for and just kind of keep in the front of your minds um, with this FIFA 19 stuff that is going on in foot. Throughout the rest of this week, like what's going to happen? Uh, what is going to happen? Right now we're in the, on the Weekend League. We're in like a, a promo um, but there's not going to be another team of the week. Like EA specifically said, and I talked about this yesterday, um, that there is not going to be another team of the week, at least for the near future, that is going to be based on, um, the actual real life performances right here. I think, uh, FIFA direct communication actually tweeted about this quick update. We will not be releasing team of the week 27 due to the ongoing suspicions of or suspensions of football leagues around the world. However, it will be replaced with player content available in packs and via foot champions player picks from next week. So uh, that's, again, what we're trying to figure out right now on foot. What's going to happen with some of this stuff? Again, here's the Bellerin SBC. It's about 135,000 coins at the moment. But I want to talk about what are they going to put in packs? What are they going to do with player picks? And, and this is going to have some impact on the market because this is something that we've never really seen before i guess this is something we not that we haven't seen before i guess it is in a sense on when it's going to be dropping but we have seen the re-release of content which i think is what they're going to have to go and do right now obviously team of the week 26 is in packs until wednesday at 6 p.m uk these cards will go out of packs what are they going to do after that i honestly think what they're going to do is they're going to create a promo squad and they're going to selectively pick cards that fit that fit uh, just what they're, just what they're, you know, the team of the week is going to be specifically chosen based on what other content they're going to be putting. This this gives them more leeway to put whatever cards they want for whatever reason. And, you know, some, they have ways for everything. Uh, but basically what I think they're going to do is they're going to just pick through the random team. They're either going to do just team of the weeks or they're going to go team of the weeks and past promo cards. And I honestly think they're just going to make a conglomeration of those put them into a squad and call it like um, team of the week or squad of the week is what they might actually end up calling it um, for the rest of this year. That's how I think they're going to do it because they can't come up with like a new set of cards to release every, every week, right? I mean, that's what promos are. They have to save that for promos and they have to sell packs through promos. But 
they're going to have to put something out for team of the week. So that's what I'm most interested to see. And th that could be scary for the market, right? Let's say you have a shapeshifter, Mares, who's 284,000 coins. They put him in team of the week. And then all of a sudden he's getting packed again. This is, again, this is like having best of team of the week almost every week if they do this, because you might have somebody in your squad that gets released back into team of the week and then is back in packs. And there's a lot of supply for that card, which is going to make him drop on the game. So, Wow, and Babu's down. We can sell off. Nice. This card's very good, by the way. Just saying. But if they throw in Babu back into packs, what are you going to do with your Babu? You bought him for 370,000 coins, and now, boom, he's 270 in like two or three days because A, people are going to see him get into Team of the Week. They're going to panic sell him because they know he's going to drop, and then he's going to continue to get packed for the next seven days. That's the thing that I'm most scared of right now with this game. And I, th I think it's going to cause people a decent amount of coins, especially if they release a guy, you know, who was somebody that was really hyped before that maybe isn't as hyped now. Lataro Martinez FFS. Let's say they re-release him into a team of the week, right? He would probably be like the top upper echelon player for a team of the week. But let's say they put him out and then boom, he could drop to like 1.1 mil, like in a flash. It's very easy for stuff like that to happen when they re-release cards in packs. And that also, you know, we're inside of foot player days, technically, right? We are technically inside of foot player days. They didn't re-release uh, best of team of the week like they did last year with this promo. It almost seemed like they were going to do that in week two. Uh, so like we would have seen maybe this 95 Messi back in packs. We might have seen a version of Cristiano Ronaldo because he has an inform back in packs. But they didn't end up doing that. And I wonder if they didn't end up doing that because they knew they were going to have to do that after this whole shutdown thing. You know, last week we had an idea of kind of what was going on. So maybe on Friday or this even what that was two days ago, they didn't release best of team of the week in packs because they knew they were going to have to do that going forward for content. So that's maybe something we could be thinking through and just possibly looking to see uh, this upcoming week. Should you sell cards? I know it's weekly sell off time right now. But maybe you do try to get out of some stuff. I mean, if you have a lot of cards in your team that are tradable, thankfully, a lot of mine are not. Uh, it, th this is a whole other situation. These cards, like a, a headliner or a road to the final, these cards are going to continue dropping because they're no longer live. These cards are no longer live in foot because these competitions are suspended, at least for the near, the near time. These competitions are suspended. These cards are not going to get upgrades. So that's the craziest thing with this. Um, we'll be, I'll be, of course, making sure that to pay attention to the details on situations with Champions League, Road to the Final cards, with headliners, when leagues actually begin to start back up again. We'll have to keep a close eye on that because that means these cards be, could become live once again. But it just depends on what leagues decide and what stuff happens here the next, you know, couple weeks with, um, you know, just letting the coronavirus or whatever run its course and letting whatever happens happens and the decisions that are made with these competitions be made so i'm just really curious to see what they do i just want to talk through that with you guys today with the possible release of content uh that is pre-released right so like re-releasing content we've seen that a lot this year with sbcs and sbc choices um but i think now we're going to see it with team of the weeks and packs as well next thing i want to talk about player of the months we are supposed to get a player of the month in Mbappe sbc in like five days because he should be winning league on player of the month and we should have already gotten a Bruno Fernandez and or Pierre Emerick Aubameyang and or um, Alonso Player of the Month SBC for the Prem, but that hasn't come out yet. And the reason I think that has not come out yet is because the Premier League Player of the Month SBC, that SBC is not like, yes, it is controlled by EA Sports, but the Premier League Player of the Month award is not controlled by EA Sports. Um, they are not the ones who ultimately decide who wins Player of the Month. Um, the Premier League is in control of that because it's their award. It is the Premier League's award that they give out every month. The voting, of course, is sponsored by the, the by EA Sports. And of course, EA Sports release in-game content on FIFA for that player of the month, which where the heck is Bruno Fernandes right now? This card is boomed, by the way, with uh, all the United special cards that have come into the game. And I think him not winning player of the month on Friday boosted his card back up. This guy was 600K on Thursday, by the way, before awards. 600K flat. Um, I don't know if we're going to actually get the SBC for Bruno Fernandes because since everything is shut down, the players are like quarantined, locked down. There's not even having practices, stuff like that. 
I don't think they can actually give him the award and hand that award out for Player of the Month. I really don't know if they can. And that's why we're not seeing the Bruno Fernandez Player of the Month SBC. So many of you guys are asking about it. I think that's why we're not going to see it. I honestly think that we won't be seeing the Mbappe Player of the Month either because I'm not entirely sure what the league on situation is. But I think they're basically taking the same route as a lot of these other leagues is that they're shut down. Is, is the League One shut down? I'm going to take a look at this really quick. Um, league One suspended. That is uh, a search on Twitter that came up right away. League, league One is behind closed doors. Okay, so as of right now, never mind. League One and League Two has been suspended with immediate effect. That's BR football. So they are suspended as well, which probably means there's not going to be awards given out. So this player of the month, Neymar, is getting, it's going to be gone in four days. And I don't know if we're going to get that player of the month at Bappe to replace it. So for a lot of you guys that are, you're talking about, hey, I want to do that SBC or you've been gearing up for it. I was going to make a video on it. I still might. Um, but I just don't know if it's actually going to come or not since we haven't gotten this Bruno and stuff like that. So, and I want to leave you guys at the end of this video with one last train and one last thing for thought. I don't know if any of you guys play League of Legends, but I have a friend who does. And evidently the professional series, the LCS in China was shut down in January for the coronavirus in January, three months ago. Literally this week, it just started back up again. So that's almost three months of time that they were shut down with no competitions because of the virus. Now they're back. If that's the same timeline that unfolds here, we're going to be in June before any of this sports, any of this stuff comes back. That's like that's like the end of team of the season. Like this time in June is like team of the season end time. We're in like the summer of foot. Football is, is done. Champions League is done uh, normally. So I just want that like the, the time frame for us might be different. You know, it might be different. Depends on it might be longer. It could be shorter. Who knows? But I just wanted to kind of put that in your guys' minds is that three months is like something that's not out of the question here, which is crazy, crazy long time frame. But again, weekly league sell off right now. Um, continue to list, list your cards for high rated. If you're trying to make coins, open bids, chemistry styles, and out of pack special cards, or at least out of packs for now, is what I would recommend trading with in the moment. So hopefully that guys cl clears some up, clears some stuff up for you guys relating to this content, what's going to be happening. I'm honestly playing weekend league this weekend. I'm going to hit either 11 or uh, 14. I'll actually probably hit 12 because I think there's an icon swap that uh, you need to get 12 weekend league wins for. But I'm going to try to hit those wins because uh, I want to see what the content is this week. I want to be a part of whatever content they're going to drop with weekend league rewards and with the team of the week and whatever stuff happens with that. So hopefully you guys are in the same boat as me. If you have any comments, of course, put it down below. This is kind of like a it's a really interesting time in FIFA, in the world, and with everything. So stay safe. Uh, make sure you're doing all the right things. Stay healthy. And uh, don't get sick, boys, all right? If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. Of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new, too. It's been Nate, the Food Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.